Year three it is, for me, roughly. Um, when you're watching this, hopefully it should be exactly three years ago that I started drawing. Um, but it's not now, it's day off. Uh, pretty much, yeah, three years ago, I made a drawing and I kept doing that, much to the world's great misfortune. I've made a tradition of talking about the atrocities I made in that time period, and I'm going to do the same right now. Oh, and off to a terrible start with this one. This thing has such a disgusting, disgraceful existence. I hate it. I spent so much time on it, and yet I also did not spend a single moment on composition or even just thinking about what I was doing. So, yeah, it's pretty much just every texture I knew how to do at the time, just kind of all in one thing. It's bad. It's really bad. Also, I will not be talking about all of these because a lot of them are just, uh, not interesting enough to discuss. This one is, I think. Um, although everything I'd been doing up until that point was fairly abstract, this was, uh, abstract just in a different manner, and, uh, I hated it, I really disliked it, I tried to pretend I didn't make it as quickly as I could, but, um, actually, I, I think it's kinda cool now. Funny how that happens. Um, this is, uh, a time whenever I turned one of my characters into a traffic god. Um, I, th I think he was just appointed that, like, like, it was like a, an election kind of thing. Um, so he controlled the traffic for, I think, like, several months. Yeah. Uh, I do believe I was, uh, playing Mario Galaxy at this time last year, which is something I need to be doing soon because I've been trying to do a playthrough once per year. Um, yeah, this is the fire plant guy from that, and he's doing some Z's fun activity, if I do say so myself. Uh, this one, I had a lot of fun doing this one. Um, so if you don't know about Gas World, Gas World is a gas station, obviously. It's probably like in Illinois or something. Anyway, they got a new, uh, they got a new bathroom and I wanted to draw it just as like, kind of like a, um, show my, uh, support. And I did. This is pretty much exactly what it looks like in person. Uh, this one, I think I drew this over Thanksgiving. Um, if you didn't know, this is what barns would look like in the future. Um, you see those big, uh, blue slits in the walls. If you touch those, they will kill you. Um, so yeah, you're gonna start seeing these pop over time, uh, just a heads up. Oh wow, a cat. Um, you pretty much have to turn your brightness all the way up if you want to actually see the horns. There are horns there and they're like, kind of cool, I think, but you can't see them because poor decision making. This one is actually a photo study of um, a picture I got of somewhere in Louisiana. Um, you can kind of tell that by the, the, the quality of the roads and the blood red sky. Uh, this one, um, this is Claire, but I, we don't care about Claire, we care about the clouds. The clouds amazed me. I didn't know how I could make such things. And as you will see in the future, they caused me quite them distress because I didn't think I would be able to recreate that level of clou cloudiness, I guess. And it is those clouds exactly that I blame for the, the, the sudden drop in art quality which you can see for yourself right here. I'm in between that and this, I made like four different things, all of which I did not finish because they were terrible. And this, I suppose, was marginally less not terrible, so yeah, it, it's here, unfortunately. Things did not get better. They definitely got worse. Look at this. You don't like looking at this. This is boring. I hate it. And I know you do too. Uh, this, I made this in a fit of rage, because I couldn't draw good things anymore, and I only proved my point. It's bad. And this is the worst one of those. Look at those city lights. They look like they were plastered on with super glue. Bad. But then, if you observe, this is not bad. At least I don't think it is. I mean, look at those lovely little leeches. Aren't they incredible? Um, it seems I have, I have indeed Kirk. It seems I had indeed cured myself. Things continue to be a lot better than bad. Um, I made this on Christmas. And a bird with a floating head. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, this I made for a friend. I realized just how much I like drawing waterfalls. And it's pretty much been one of my favorite things I've drawn ever since I did it. Really like the character too. Um, ignore this. It's um, not good. It's not really, not really bad, but it's definitely not good. Uh, <laughs> then... For the new year, I made this. It's a heart. My heart, actually. This is what my heart looks like. It has an eyeball on it. Um, I had so much fun with this. 
Now a time has come that I give you some much needed context with the following diagram. So as it says on the left, that is a normal brain. On the right, that is my brain at the start of the new year and on for quite some time. I will tell you whenever that stops. But um, good result of having a brain that looks like this is uh, I guess everything you draw is just automatically good. I, okay, fine. I'm going to be very pretentious here and talk very highly of my own things now. Please excuse that. As you may expect from someone whose brain looks like that, I hated everything I did with a, a passion that I had never uh, had before. Uh, but I was dead wrong because these are good. They are cool. They are nice. They are sick. They are insane. Look at them. Look at that bench. Don't you want to sit on that bench? I, I do. I kind of think I do. I think that they think it's a pretty cool place to sit. This wizard, I still use this wizard as my profile picture. Um, why not? Uh, it, 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 apparently it was Christmas when I made this again. Um, I don't know why. Uh, okay, I, I, maybe I, perhaps I lied. This is a little bit and not quite as good, but, um, uh, okay. Uh, that, that, blah, 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 that's a sofa. Don't tell me you don't want to sit on that sofa. It's a cool one. There you go. Um, the tree has machinery in it, um, as all good trees do, uh, and there's an explosion. Uh, th th that's actually a water slide, um, y yeah, and uh, again, I, uh, this is also kind of not as good, but better than the last one that I said was not as good. This is one of the most obscure characters from Super Paper Mario, an already pretty obscure game for a Mario game, um, but it's also one of the best things I've made, I love it. Uh, I, I also, another one of the best things I've done, I just drew this character, f like, uh, yesterday, actually. Um, uh, yeah, I remember, um, hearing Kid A by Radiohead for the first time. Good memories, but also not, because, again, my brain looked like that. It wasn't very a good, wasn't a good experience, nothing was. Then I made this, which is irredeemable trash, um, and then this, which I also made in a fit of rage, um... Yeah, I was really, really mad here, mostly because it wasn't turning out well, but it, it things went out fine in the end, so that's okay. I would go on to make some uh, things of mixed results, but I'd say this is pretty good. This is actually what my hand looks like. Um, What my hand did look like, I had to get it amputated. It was too infected. Um, I bought a new one, though, trust me, and it actually is not quite as cool looking, but that's okay. It's It's functional. Oh wow, another angry drawing. This is a North American wall socket. Um, yeah, my brain was like a, a pile of oil on the floor at this point. It was pretty weird. This was um, uh, pretty not good as far as I was concerned up until like two weeks ago. Um, but since that time, I actually kind of like it. I'm not sure why it took me so long, but it has grown on me. So that's cool. Oh wow, what do you know? It is a cat once more, and now is it in the city, the underground city. Uh, I saw this one in a dream. Um, it has a plant. No one lives here. I didn't see this one when I was dreaming. I saw this one while I was vacuuming carpet. Now I ask that you recall Claire and the clouds from earlier. Here they are again with uh, Claire's extended family, the big balloons. Um, those are also cities and they do not have people in them, but they keep the lights on just in case. Here is where someone died and left all kinds of blood on the snow. Should have read the sign which said, don't bleed here. Um, it's illegal, but it happened anyway. How unfortunate. The blood has since been cleaned up just for your peace of mind. This is another photo study of a, a photograph I got of Wyoming. This is what Wyoming looks like. All of it. And this is Pete. I was trying to draw something and I didn't like it. So I was like, what if I inverted the colors and put a lizard there? Uh, that's what I did. I took one of the layers, inverted the colors, and I put a lizard there. It's a good image, I think. I don't know. And from the video game Terraria, I drew a floaty gross. It is floaty and is gross. Everything here is made of meat. Oh, and here's a here's a guy, a normal guy. This is what a normal human looks like. Oh wow, it is the wizard again. I saw this in a dream. I probably enjoyed this drawing this the most out of anything. I really liked doing this. Um, also, also, an update on my brain. While I was drawing that last thing, I was also attaining wisdom, and that made my brain go good. Look at my brain, look how beautiful it is. You may be thinking, well, that does not look like you went back to normal. That's actually 
no, no. My brain looks like a lobster. My brain does not look like yours, and that is okay. That's its normal state. There is nothing to be concerned about here. This is natural. This is a drawing about a clogged nose. I had a clogged nose, and I tried to breathe through it. It made a funny noise, and I thought, hey, what if I drew that funny noise, and I did. This is what that funny noise looked like. This is a place where they do laser tag. Here I thought, hey, what if I put an SR-71 on a mountain? And that is what I did. The colors are dull, but uh, I, I think it's kind of okay, I guess. Around this time, I had allergies. Really bad allergies that I couldn't do anything except stick my fingers into my face. I hate the sun. The sun makes my allergies worse. And I drew this to show my hatred. This is actually what I look like. This is a self-portrait, in fact. Um, obviously, I'm not screaming all the time, but I am most of the time, so this is pretty accurate. Here we have a big river with some big trees. On either side, there's a town, there's a village, there's a city. Uh, there's stuff going on there. John, this was really peaceful. I enjoyed it a lot. Ah, classic cross shrimp image right here. I took this, I made some of it blue, and I messed it up and uh, distorted it in every possible way, and then drew over that. And this is what resulted. This is one of those drawings where I make a new brush and have a lot of fun with it. Um, you can kind of see that with the landscape there. It's pretty much just, it's literally just a horizontal line, but it was the coolest, most insane thing back in the day. I loved it. Right about this time, I started to get the impression that making things very, very dark so that you have to turn your brightness up to the max to even see the things was a good idea. I mean, I think I usually always can include a lot of dark colors, but this is a bit much. Not not this one. That's pretty bright. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's a bit on, on the overkill side, I will admit. Uh, it took me a while to get out of that. Uh, another classic cross shrimp image here. This is one of my favorites. So this is pretty much a theorized version of what a neighbor's backyard might look like. Um, pretty much these neighbors live like past a a few you few yards and through another street, uh, it was far away and you could barely see them, but you could hear them. They were very loud. I'm pretty sure you could hear their screaming for like mile radius or whatever, uh, and you could hear their music too. It was horrible. They also kept three trash cans out front all the time. Um, I guess they had a lot of trash. Uh, I must imagine that there's some of that trash that does not go in the trash can, and that is what I sought to um, represent here. So yeah, you can kind of make out the three trash cans. Well, there's technically four in here, like the guy sitting on them, on it. Uh, I decided to make them all fish. Um, made sense. And they also, I guess they made them collect road signs as well. Um, they've since moved out, in case you were wondering. I am also quite fond of this one as well. Um, pretty much I just took this from earlier, flipped it around, and inverted the colors, and then drew over that. Another case where I made a new brush and used it obsessively for the duration of the drawing, um, it's a pretty small thing for, like, uh, precise details and whatnot. I kind of forgot about it a few drawings later, but, uh, recently I've picked it up again, and I use it obsessively, almost as much as I used it here. Actually, probably more so. Yeah, never mind about that. I use it a lot. Oh, look, a worm! Um, actually, when I finished drawing this worm, I realized it was too dark, and I couldn't see anything on my normal brightness level. Uh, and I decided that I was going to, like, not make things so dark in the future, and, uh, that's kind of what I did. I still don't know if this is good or not. I had a big stomach ache when I was drawing this, and no good things were happening, and, uh, this is what resulted. I hated it when I made it. Um, so yeah, following that was, like, a period of some pretty, uh, boring art things, except for a few. Uh, I don't want to show you those because they're kind of boring and not interesting and not worth anyone's time. But here is a river. You, you cannot, cannot swim, swim in it, it because uh, it is um, government-owned government land. land or something. It's like some kind of national no reserve. No smoking, no blah, diving, blah, blah, no blah, eating, fish, no drinking. Uh, no, don't, don't mess with the fish and Don't drink the don't river. Talk, you don't, don't need that stuff in it. Don't dump system. your trash. Don't drop your clothes. Just, just stay, stay away, from, away the from the recreation it, river. It is not yours to mess with. This is a cool hotel. On your left, you will see the whale heart onion garlic combo. It is floating because it is magical. Unlike you. Now I was doing cool things again. I was not making bad arts anymore. I don't think there was any bad arts for a good while. Uh, 
Uh, like look at them. Look, look at the, the the thing. Look at the the the, the water. Uh, that's a turtle with a long nose. Isn't that incredible? And look at the the little goat eye. That's so cute, huh? Um. Oh, that that's a mall Santa. I am very eager to remind everyone of this. I'm sure you've heard this a billion times by now. But that is what mall Santas will look like in the future. It was revealed to me in a dream. Now, if you look on your right, you will see the um, big frowning statues. Their whole goal in life is to make you frown. I hope they are succeeding. Cowboy wizards are so cool. Don't talk to me if you aren't a cowboy wizard. Now, on your left and right and center, you will notice those are bombs. On the right bomb, right above them, there is a CD player, which I have on a shelf right in front of my face. Um, it's a real thing. I don't think they sell them anymore. But they are cool. They are good. I don't really have anything to say about this one. I just kind of like it. I think it's cool. I think it turned out pretty well. Oh, it's a rabbit and a boar. The rabbit is like a um, a, a god. Um, and the boar is just like a normal boar. Don't talk to me if you don't like boars. Do not talk to me if you don't like hogs. This is a real room. It hasn't flooded yet. And now, of course, we have the one and the only Bobby Bajillion superhero space wizard man. You are now legally required to applaud his existence. And now you will see a B2 super battle droid from Star Wars The Clone Wars, as well as two statues of my own making. One of them is very happy and is smiling. The other one is not happy and is screaming. And now, this is a very personal drawing for me. This is my own very brother, Professor Jet Plane. This is what he looks like. I drew him. This is Damien Darwin Dreadnought. He is a spider. He has eight limbs. And he also has the universe's best hair. That's right. His hair is better than yours. You should feel ashamed about that. This is a cool house. It was actually drawn over this, which is a photo study of some random place I made like 40 billion years ago. It was really old. This is uh, the, 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 the Mega Hammer from Mario Galaxy 2. Yet again, more Mario Galaxy uh, art. Um, you see, whenever I draw something from a, a Mario game in particular, I put in the maximum effort because I don't want to disgrace the source material. Mario Galaxy in particular is uh, uh, not to be disgraced, especially by me. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of happy with this. In all seriousness, this was based on a true story. This is an ordinary guy except strong. He is way stronger than you. Um, he can lift many things, like this eye. This is a normal human eye, and he can lift it. Uh, I don't think you can do that. I bet you can't. Might want to go to the doctor about that one. This was like the first time in several millennia since the last time I drew something that wasn't in 2160 by 1620, I believe it was, um, pixels. Uh, yeah, it, it's, it's a long image. Words cannot get close to express how much frustration I had to go through to draw this thing. Uh, I was fairly certain that it was going to be a complete dud, but uh, I think it is pretty cool in the end. A fair majority of this thing was drawn while I was half asleep. This is the Blues Factory. This is where the blues come from. If you've ever eaten a blue, if you've ever decorated your house with a blue, this is where it was made. This is Doom Town. It's called that because there's a hurricane here at all times, and going here means doom. Most people who that live here are dead, in fact. Another thing that, for the most part, I absolutely hated drawing. This thing was miserable to work on, and uh, let it be known that usually when things like this are so frustrating, they don't turn out well, but uh, I actually am kind of happy with this. Man, I love the beach. That is literally the best sentence ever. I use it several times a day in literally every conversation I have. It's awesome. This is like a normal forest, except there's like a picnic going on here, and it's like a real big deal, and uh, you were invited. So uh, um, good job on that. This is just a, a normal guy having lunch. I'm not really sure why I drew this, but uh, it exists. This is a sit-down strike. As you can see, the um, conveyor belt has stopped. The sheep are no longer killing their own people with these machines. How poetic. There is some screaming outside. Uh, ignore that. Um, this is a person telling you to keep it up, buddy. I guess your name is Buddy. Um, I didn't know that. And finally, the thing I haven't even posted yet. It's so new. It's not even done. It, it, it's, it's unfinished. Um, yeah, that, that's Duke Lampshade. He's a Duke. Um, his, his head's a lamp. Um, 
uh, his name is Lampshade, but uh, he's actually just an entire lamp. Um, yeah, that's that's all. That's not all of them, but it's all of them I want to talk about. So, uh, bye.